Welcome to video 56 in series 3, and in this video we'll write the item master script. Okay, so I'll write a new script, it's a master script, and I'll call it item master. And open it up. And since I'm going to reference uh, the player master script, well, I need a reference to it since I'm going to access it rather. So private uh, player master. So let's do this player master right there. Player master. Okay. And then I'm going to have my events: so public delegate void a general event handler and uh, two events: so public event of the type general event handler. And it's going to be called event object throw. And again, same thing. So public event general event handler. And this is event object pickup. And then I'll have another one here, a different delegate. So public delegate void uh, pickup action pickup action event handler. And it takes a parameter uh, transform, uh, and I'll just call it item, and then the event, so public event pickup action event handler event pickup action. All right. Now I'll go ahead to my set initial references and establish the reference to the player master. So I'm just going to check the game manager references script. So I'll just go down there and get it dot player if that's not equal to null then in that case I will say that the player master is equal to uh, that game manager references dot player uh, dot get component and that's the player master script okay now I'll put that in on enable so I'll there set initial references Get rid of all of these, don't need them, those methods. And then I'll write uh, the uh, uh, events that calls for the events. So public void call event object throw. If event object throw this is uh, not equal to null. And then in that case, have that event happen and also in the player master script so player master dot call event hands empty so this will clear the player's hands because they're throwing something and player master dot call event inventory changed this will force an update which is good and that's it okay next one public void call event object pickup and here if event object pickup is not equal to null then event object pickup run it and also player master dot call event inventory changed all right so once again, that'll force an update of the inventory. And now we'll have public void call event pickup action. This needs a parameter of the type transform. And this one again, so we just check there. If event pickup action not equal to null. Then event pickup action, uh, just run that pass in item, okay. And that's basically it. I just need to check that it all looks okay. It looks all right. Yep, I've established set initial references. I've got my calls. Okay, so all good, I'll just go to Unity. So back on the player, there were those two uh, test items that I had. And I can actually just drag on the item master scripts onto them. And it won't do anything at the moment. I can just run and just check that there are no obvious errors. 
Nah, nothing obvious at all. Uh, so that means that's alright, those scripts are fine, but we won't get to see anything just yet. We've still got a lot more work to do. That's just the item master system uh, script, rather, written there. Now we've got lots more scripts so that we can throw items, pick up items, and have all the associated activities happen with those uh, items. Alright, so thanks for watching.